Let me start out this video by saying that I used to be a huge Photoshop fan. When it comes to editing photos, no one can deny that Photoshop is an amazing piece of software. However, I've now fully switched over to Affinity Photo and I have zero regrets about making the switch. Overall, Affinity Photo and Photoshop are very similar. Layers, masks, selections, and adjustments are virtually identical in both programs. With that being said though, there are actually some reasons that I like Affinity Photo better than Photoshop. Let me share a couple of those reasons with you. First off, can we just appreciate how much more stylish Affinity Photo is? Look at Photoshop's logo, and now look at Affinity Photo's logo. Look at Photoshop's toolbar, and now look at Affinity Photos. I know this is a minor detail, but I appreciate a program that looks good, especially a program that's designed for creativity. On a more serious note, I think Affinity Photo's Move tool is way better than Photoshop's. In Photoshop, I need to select the Move tool, make my layer a smart object to avoid losing quality, press Command or Control T to bring up my transform tools, resize the object, and then confirm my transformation. Quite the hassle to do something so simple. In Affinity, resizing objects works just as you would expect. You grab the Move tool, and then handles appear that allow you to resize the object. And best of all, there's no need to make the layer a smart object. Affinity automatically resizes layers in a non-destructive manner. Another big reason I like Affinity better than Photoshop is its live previews. Watch me scroll through the blend modes in Affinity Photo. Now watch me scroll through the blend modes on Photoshop. Even more importantly, Affinity has live brush previews. As I hover my brush over anything in Photoshop, I don't see anything until I actually click. In contrast, Affinity gives a live preview of what my brush strokes will look like just by hovering my brush over anywhere that I want to paint. Live brush previews save me from a lot of painting and undoing before I get it right. Affinity also has better gradients than Photoshop. When making a gradient in Photoshop, I don't see a live preview of what my gradient will look like, and then no way to adjust my gradient once it has been laid down. If I want to change my gradient in Photoshop, I need to make a brand new one. In Affinity, when I make a gradient, I get a live preview of what my gradient will look like, and then after I've laid my gradient down, I can adjust the gradient points without needing to make a brand new one. Affinity also has a lot of smaller, but nice features that Photoshop lacks. These aren't crucial features, but are certainly nice to have. For example, Affinity makes frequency separation a breeze. All you need to do is come up to the Filters menu and then select Frequency Separation. For anyone that is a serious portrait retoucher, this can be a real time saver. Affinity also allows you to go full screen on a Mac. For someone that always works in full screen mode, Photoshop's inability to do this is a little frustrating. But of course, one of the biggest reasons I switched to Affinity Photo is because of Photoshop's pricing model. I hate monthly subscriptions and can't stand the thought of paying a monthly fee for the rest of my life to use Photoshop. At $10 a month, Photoshop costs $120 a year, $1,200 a decade, and $6,000 over the next 50 years, which is about how long I expect to be editing photos. In contrast, as of now, Affinity costs a reasonable $50, with free updates to all improvements to the software. $50 versus $6,000. I'll admit, there might be some professional photographers who can justify spending that much to use Photoshop, but for 99% of people, Affinity Photo is a rock-solid Photoshop replacement. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new tutorial on Affinity Photo every Saturday. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.